So uh, just a quick thing, I think I mentioned on video, hopefully I leave it in, but I was, I wanted the, uh, the lizard to have different wings than the human. I think it's a bit weird that they have angel wings and whatnot. And apparently someone agreed with me and Project Polymorph adds different wings and horns for the spread your wings and bullhorn skills. Now... I don't know, I might get the bullhorn skill briefly just to show the cosmetic off. It's not a skill that I tend to use. Granted, I've never really tried it. Maybe it maybe I've just never maybe it's just that I've never tried it and I should. But the wings one we use all the time. And I think it'd be really cool if the Red Prince had more dragon-esque wings rather than feathers. Ethans should look pretty much the same, to be honest. Humans are still kind of just stuck with angel wings, so not a whole lot of difference there, but so, last time, we uh, turned in those supplies to the guy that killed his mentor, like we agreed that we would before we realized what he'd done, so our word has been fulfilled. Now we just have to figure out how we're going to deal with him, and because Bill was getting pretty tired, and we desperately needed to do an inventory sort, he just went upstairs and I handled all the inventory sort, redid our skills, all that fun stuff, so... Make sure you take a second to familiarize yourself with what you now have. Oh no, that might be fun. That might be a fun way to punish him. <laughs> okay, we, we, we need to figure out how we're gonna go about doing that, but just take a second, but just to briefly show everyone on the character screen, yes, I know I'm sitting on a bunch of combat points. It's because I'm waiting for the next tier of skills to unlock where I know I'm going to have to increase something or other. I know I could just pump it into Polymorph or something for damage, but I'm not going to do that unless I feel like I really need to. And I'm going to do... Try and the wings and just make sure it does... Oh, oh the, they actually do look better. They, yeah, well, okay, it didn't break our saves or crash the game. They're better angel wings. I'll try mine in a second. I just wanted um, to make sure... But yeah, I think even those just look better. <laughs> yeah, whoever did these cosmetics... Uh, Majora's... Uh, Majora um, did a great job. Yeah, they do a lot of character cosmetic mods. Usually I use their more character cosmetics and such too. But when you're playing Origin characters, the base game cosmetics mostly work. So I, I just didn't have it in for this. But I do highly recommend their mods for anyone who wants just more character customization and cosmetics. Anyway, if you look at our armor values, my physical armor hasn't improved very much because I'm using mostly mage armor. But my magic armor is much, much better than it was. And Ethan's armor is just all round better because you're using a more balanced set. We still do have the captain's coat and hat if we need persuasion and bartering. I have any skill, any gear like that that gives civil skills, I'm just gonna keep in the backpack. I also bought a belt for Ethan that increases bartering. We will be keeping that later into the game. He's using it right now just for the stats, but we'll be keeping it for the bartering later. That kind of thing. Civil points, you just always need them, especially in lone wolf runs. I did not upgrade our weapons because we don't use very many weapon-based skills. I took my warfare skills off for now, but the bigger factor is that the weapons at the vendor are only level 12 and these are level nine. It wasn't a very big jump in damage and it would have cost a lot of extra money to get us new weapons so i'm gonna wait until we've leveled up at least a couple more times which will also level up the merchant inventories i the the weapons are gonna lag a bit more than other equipment i am gonna try to upgrade them but it's gonna be later because not very many of our skills scale off of them so i see that bill's already trying to figure out what all we could maybe do here so i had a couple of ideas on that front our options i think we could of course just attack him in here and just accept that we're going to be burning the tavern down I it, but i think if we seal everything off we would only be fighting the tavern keep that in mind which would be good because then we don't pull the merchants into it but option two, as bill i think is already kind of figuring out is we could maybe try to like get a line of sight on him from out here teleport him out there you know remember when i dropped that annoying singing dwarf out of the sky to his doom repeatedly 
I think like if you nether swapped and then I teleported and we chained that together fast enough, we could get him far enough away from everyone that maybe we get away with only fighting him. Now, the downside to that is if we muck it up, and we end up fighting him out here in the alley or something, then instead of just fighting the tavern, which so far has mostly just been full of racist people I don't care about all that much, and a guy that keeps singing about the death of Alexander as if he was the most innocent little lamb ever. Um, basically, what I'm saying is I don't care about the people in here all that much, but it might turn from just fighting people in here to potentially fighting everyone in town. Yeah. I'm not sure that, like, it's a, we can try. I'm thinking more we just close the door and see what happens. Because I was seeing if there was a door across the street, because if there was, I was going to go Then, yeah, we could close it off, strats. but it's like, eh, maybe we could do it, but let's just see if we can close this up. Yep. Don't mind us. And then let's see if we can close off this room too, because even though the dwarf guard was annoying, I don't feel like he was just doing his job. Yeah. Let's just close up all the doors. Try to limit. And well, I guess unfortunately we had to take out the cook. I really wish we hadn't. I was just offering to help. Dang it. I wonder if it's because technically we had been nice to Raymond or something. Because Lohar also, like, complained that we were working with Magisters. But, I mean, Lohar knowing about that makes sense. She was back in the kitchen the whole time. Anyway, maybe that's why. Or maybe we should have taken out the Magisters across the street and then talked to her. I don't know. Anyway. But, anyway, this is all closed up now. Let's just do a final scan. Is there anyone in here you want to talk to before this all gets lit on fire? I don't think so. Interested greeting. Here for the fight. This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually there'll be a fight. You planning on starting one? Yeah. Would you fight with us? Because trust me, that'd be better for your health. Buy me a drink and I'll think about it. Cheers. Later then. Well, hopefully that actually... It's less that we need the help and more that it's one less person that that we have to just take out in order to take this guy out. But yeah, all of the other people in here, like, I'd rather not take you out. You're kind of just the staff, but you also... Because in this particular instance, y'all didn't try to rob me at the end of that scene. Usually I feel pretty justified because they try to rob you, but this time they didn't. But yeah, these two, these guys are all just simping over Alexander's death and all that. These guys are doing the same thing. Don't care about them. I haven't talked to you, though. You're very drunk. An elf sways on her chair, her eyes focused on the counter in front of her, where she has six glasses in a row. With the nails of two fingers, she's pressing red welts into her forearm. She slides one of the drinks towards you. Her head bobbling heavily on her neck as she nods at the sparkling ale. And that. Uh, sure. Nothing like a glass and a good stuff to smudge everything into a pretty shape. She slides another glass of ale toward you. Its contents sparkle in the dim bar light. Bottoms up. Yeah, sure. Maybe if I drink you under the table. You'll just be unconscious. Her gaze swivels around the room. Damien's dull knife. This place is horrible. Yeah, it is. Cheers to you, me, and me again. Another. Yep. Oh, oh, reckon that was. Reckon that was. Reckon a one too many. There you go. We wanted to fight her. <laughs> and I will be starting this fight blitzed. <laughs> uh, you might not want to be quite right there. Okay. I hate this table. I hate this table. Also, I might. Yep, there you go. 
That Go. won't hit you. No, yeah, no, it's fine. Go. You won't be the first. Oh, nope. Even the lady that uh, said she'd fight with us if I started the fight. Evidently not. Maybe she meant more punching instead of lighting on fire. Oh, one person was dumb enough to open the door. That's gonna be on you, I guess. Teleport that person inside. Okay, I call BS that the person who's completely unconscious is apparently also our enemy game. But sure, fine, whatever. the bench might be hostile now. <laughs> By rights, the building should be falling in right about now. You could do global cooling. It would put out like one person and I think it would take them out anyway. I can stack that. I do have a few Hydrosofa skills, just not very many. Summon some totems or something. And one at like the opening 
to the bar, I guess. Let them figure it out. Dude. Well, that worked. Fight over? Would have been a lot better if that idiot hadn't decided to walk in. Oh, there's apparently a tiny bit of ice somewhere on the stang floor. My, my head hurts. Oh, yeah, it's gonna hurt a lot more in a second, buddy. Yeah. We'll take that. And we may as well take the supplies back. You can always unlock it. We can see what it's in it. Take that back to. And we will be taking that back to the guy straight away. Straight away. I guess everything in here is ours now. Oh, I had to teleport something down. Yeah, I'm trying to get All this right. mug, this you, ball of beer. You, but... You're gonna be smart. You're gonna be smart. Good man. Tavern's yours now. singing about how Alexander was the best ever. Rubbish. But yeah, I feel slightly bad about the drunk elf and slightly bad about the lady in the back corner because she at least had the good sense to be quiet and if she'd just taken the gold and left, well... Poison mugs of beer on these two, uh, were they undead or was someone already planning to do what we did in a slightly more subtle fashion? Alright, well, now we get to go walk outside and see if anyone flips. It's always the scary part after you pull something like this. Hi, everyone's still cool? Don't go in the tavern. It uh, needs to be cleaned up. How are you holding up? Not in any <laughs> Under new management, namely Lohar. There's still one person left in there to remove after we've dealt with the rest of my former co-workers yeah, we'll, <laughs> of we'll the lone wolves. We'll, we'll save that part and probably just take out the two magisters that keep debating whether they should go sleep with the lizard or not. Okay, so sitting on that stool would count as stealing, but I'm what gonna, I've been I, doing is we, not we, okay. we broke an oil barrel or something out here. This alleyway is just oil now, and I'm not going to blow it up because... The only reason that these two get to live is because that lady and her kid are in here and I don't want to I don't want to fight a kid that would just or, or kill the kid's mom. That would just no. Okay? That Yeah. That's too murder hobo -y even for me. Why does that one just not appear as It doesn't update, but he doesn't have any all right, well, moving Blue. on. Let's go take the head back to to that guy, the spirit, before we forget. Yeah, so that's gonna be the next thing. And he was here, and the closest to that's probably gonna be uh, Hanigs. Yeah, War Point, Cloisterwood. Hi, don't ask what we're doing. We haven't checked out the Black Pits yet. I apologize. We're heading that way soon. But let's see, we need the we need to check out the cave that Mortis is in and be careful, there are spots of lava around here. So far I've only seen the one patch, but You never know. Oh, there's that arrow flower. The healing potions that you get for that aren't even worth it for healing at this point, but 
the money's nice. So, amazingly, we still get to use the traders in town. Despite blowing up the tavern. I was honestly, I, I, I kind of thought that that was going to not be a thing as soon as that one person just decided to walk in. Well, for all we know, the rest of the town thinks that's a hive of scum and villainy. I was like, well, finally burned down. Figured that would happen eventually. And you said you wanted to go back to that one magister that got a that got a bribe out of you. Well, she's wandering around the market square, so if you want to follow up on that, that's going to be like right before we just leave. Because yeah. there's no way we're going to do anything about her without also taking out the traitors. I'm going to... I'll see if there's some stealthier way to get rid of them, but... Eh. If not, it was like 50 bucks. Uh, yes, yeah, it says the man carrying almost 30 grand. Yeah. It was not very much to me, but apparently a lot to them. <laughs> We still do not have a corpse explosion book. I did look when I was going to the traders. It might be that, like, we'll d like they do restock their inventory. Maybe we'll get lucky in when the next tier of skills unlocks. Maybe that's what needs to happen, and then we'll be able to buy it. If not, just keep an eye out for it. Also, that's another reason we're not using a lot of the expanded encounter mods and stuff. That person looking for the book would constantly just get killed. Yeah, one of the encounters, one of a really difficult encounter with a bunch of void woken was right near her, and she would constantly come in and try to help us, but just die. It was a fun fight otherwise, but yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, some the of the quests. fights were really fun, but they it's just there's a reason some of these areas were left empty. You need to have some buffer zone or NPCs just get get into fights that they shouldn't, and it can make some quests almost impossible to complete. Ah, there he is. Okay, he'll be happy. Where is his head? Where is his heart? You said head. I brought the Me. head. Dead. Rock, take him. Buzzards use him for a latrine. His head. I want to look into his eyes. My boy is dead. My, my boy is dead. He takes the head. the head in his hands and gazes into its lifeless eyes. He tenderly strokes Garvin's head and a sad smile crosses his lips. May maggots bugger you for all time, my dear boy. You, get that map of yours on hand. I've got a little something for you. Garvin took nearly everything from me, but not nearly enough. I'll show you where to look. I feel the pull of the hall. It's my time at last. Gods, I hope I'll meet my boy again. Maybe I'll get to look him in the eye when I take his head from him again and again and again. Fair enough. Well, I don't know if that's a skill we're ever gonna we're gonna use in this run, but I'll take it because it's the thing that's worth the most out of that. And he marked a chest there. I'm not sure if we already got it or not, but it's over near the corpse explosion book, lady. So we may as well go check. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could have gotten cute with some teleports or something. Or maybe we should have tried talking to him to see if we could spook him, but... Do you have it? Do you have maybe there was a more elegant way to handle that than just burning the whole tavern down, but after having to listen to that bard sing about Alexander the whole time I was doing an inventory sort, I wanted to burn the tavern down. We didn't actually find this one. And uh, there's a lot in here because yay, lucky charm. Uh, th being evil is rewarding. Ooh, a Stardust Herb. Yeah, you happen to see one of those. You you tell me and we'll figure out how to get to it because well, I've been harvesting yeah like the black root and some of these other ones where it's just, whoa. 
lighting changed drastically. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, I hear wolves. Like a lot of wolves. Um, um, is that a Matisse? Because you tell me! Certainly looks like an abomination from World of Darkness type thing. Or maybe a Black Spiral Dancer. Anyway. Yeah, probably. It's serving the void, which is very close to the worm, I'd imagine. Spare me. It is too much. I heart too much. You, you, you cannot come here. I'm not done. I, I, I... <sighs> The creature suddenly holds itself around the ears, as though seized by a great pain. Several flapping jaws open and close over a single many-fanged maw, like a taxidermist's experiment. Go! Uh, you appear to be in pain. Why are you here? Why do you come here? Honestly, I was kind of just exploring maybe where I shouldn't have been, but since that's not an option, there is an altar to the Seven back there, so I've come to pray at that. His frantic gaze passes from the blood-stained altar to you. Comprehension suddenly clears the agony from his face. He, he wants blood. He wants blood. I'll give you blood. I'll give it all. I beg you, my lord. Accept. Oh. Our own tricks are being used against us. Ow. Oh, he's resistant to fire. So Apparently we weak to... Poison and earth. and earth, though, so I guess we're gonna lean on that. Now, as far as make the make sure you get your physical armor back oh, so you don't get I'll, knocked down. I'll go get there. And we have vampire wolves. Okay. Yeah, that that's an abomination or something right there. That, uh, this is all void stuff. Uh, so the wolves don't really have any particular weakness or. And then the old gray wolf. Doesn't have any resistances, it's just bulkier. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, what I think I might do first, because I'd like to reposition to a slightly more central part of the arena. I think what I'm just gonna have you do instead of restoring my physical armor is I may just we both have death resist abilities now, so I might just have you put that up. I'm ready. And I get dragon wings now. Makes me happy. Anyway. I'm ready. Didn't even intend to cause that explosion. I think if you did Earthquake again, it might knock them down even through armor. Maybe. But you'd need to move to where I've gone. So, wings? Okay, so I don't have... You don't have Tactical Retreat anymore. You don't have quite enough memory slots for everything. So, had to give up something. About where I am. Let's just see if Earthquake does knock down through armor. If it doesn't, you'll have a point left to do Fortify on me. It 
It does on everything except the big guy. Thank you. solution to this problem. Let's see, 127. I need to do a little bit of magic damage to him first before I do the petrifying visage or he'll resist it. Save your actual petrifying visage until next turn so that you can re petrify all of them. You might be able to hit both. Depends on how generously his foot counts as the hitbox. Very generously, it turns out. Hey, it was weak to poison, so. Save the poison until yours has had some time to actually do some of its damage over time. And you have Medusa head up. You just didn't use the petrifying visage, yep. right? Okay. So Hopefully if I move, isn't time down. So if I move away, it's okay. Glory is mine. A choice? You've uh, petrified him basically midair. Now everybody's petrified. Also. I think if you flew up to where I'm at, you could then use Impaling Strike and stuff without hitting yourself. And you could hit him and the big gray wolf. Old gray wolf. Whatever. Okay, I was kind of hoping that the petrification would stick since he used petrifying visage, but... He had some sort of perseverance skill. No, it's because technically he was petrified not by the petrifying visage, but because he just got close to you while you had the Medusa head up. And I guess the petrifying visage doesn't overwrite that. Eh, he's pretty resistant to water. And it would put out the fire. Actually, it was also pretty resistant to fire, so you could argue that it doesn't matter that much, but... You could also do peace of mind on me. Both. Oh, Alright, 
this big one out. The two biggest ones are down. That's good. And let's just... There. Fire totems? I think we're down to one. Yeah. Really glad we were able to keep the bulk of them petrified through most of that, or that would have been real bad. An ancient altar to the seven stands alone before you. Faint, comforting heat emanating from the stones themselves calls you forward. Gentle heat warms your hand. Can I find a source of the heat? The stones appear to be just that. Apart from a few faded red stains across the topmost slab, nothing unusual betrays itself. The air Anything? stirs, as though someone had appeared and taken a seat upon the altar. A voice rises around you, its source unclear. Fractured whispers surround you. God woken. The word flutters against your ear. You are my champion. You cannot fail. A jolting sensation pierces your heart. As the shock fades, you realize you've absorbed a modicum of source, seemingly from the air around you. The whispers shuffle away, and the air shifts. Whatever was here a moment ago is gone now. Okay, so there are probably other altars like that around. So keep an eye out for those. Hopefully nothing else like this thing, though. Still don't know that we're going to have a whole lot of luck against the witch. I mean, we could try. The weird scarecrow thing. Especially given that it seemed like it was surrounded by lava or something. All right, y'all don't seem to be eating tainted honey. <gasps> all right, they're all nice. Leave them be. Please don't eat any tainted honey. I would really hate to have to come back through. All right. I'm going to assume that fire isn't going to do very much to this thing. I think yeah, I think that would be a fair assumption. I, I mean, I have some water attacks and some air attacks. Not as much as I'd like, mind you. But some. Honestly, it might even be worth putting rain on for this attack if you don't have anything that would... So the problem is we need to create some kind of surface for the totems. And I think water would be ideal here, even if you cast it before the combat and then switch to something else. We just need a water surface to work with. So where do you want rain cast? It's... Yeah, if you could aim it... if Can you clip her with it if you go to the edge of the... Nah, she didn't quite circle that far. And if you get much closer, it's going to be a problem, so... I'd say when, like, go, no, go back up there. When she starts to, like, turn towards the circle, cast it as she starts to turn. Like, now? Or? Like, immediately when she starts to turn. Like that? Yeah. 
Yeah, that was going to be a really hard thing to time. We mostly just need the surface. Okay, go back into stealth. Let me take a look. Yep, that's that should be enough water for us to summon our totems on. Uh, Now, as to how we actually try to start this fight, I'm just going to go in and trigger it, and then you can get a sneak attack. Assuming she doesn't instantly melt me, in which case we know we just can't do this yet. Hi. Oh. Uh, I'd really rather not have trouble. Can I ease your pain? You need five persuasion for that. If I wore your coat... If she completely melts us, then you can just hand me your coat and I'll try again. Okay. Oh, she also has totems. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. And my sneak attack is just not working. Honestly, it would be better if you just healed me, but that that's that's it. I'm out. Yeah, you're not gonna win that. <sighs> that that was my health just being like I she almost one shotted me and if you'd healed me out of combat maybe I could have stayed up but I don't know I she don't did know. a lot we can of do damage this fight over yet. time. <sighs> well, hand me if I put on your dang coat for the extra persuasion I actually would meet it. Really, game? I really hate when it does auto saves after the combat starts. Don't do that. Because then I quick load thinking, oh, it's going to be the quick save that I made before the combat. And it's like, yeah, no, you're just going to melt over and over again. I I, I have it. It's fine. It's in my freaking backpack. Which is mildly annoying. I don't usually put gear in the backpack because it's harder to get it out. But I figured this would only be used on fairly rare circumstances and I didn't want to accidentally sell it. There really needs to be a remove from container option here because the only way to do it is to do hold in hand and then empty hand and then you have to remove it from wares for some freaking reason. There, that should give me the extra bit of persuasion that I apparently need to do this because my persuasion's quite high, but it's not freaking five. And I need... I don't know that I have rain. Oh, and it just doesn't matter. Why put it there? You'd have to heal me out of combat to even keep me in. Okay, I... And that won't work and yeah no this is not a winnable fight at this point okay. and apparently the persuasion is why is it even there just have the dialogue there and don't put a check in if the check isn't going to do anything i hate it when tabletop dms do that too by the way If a check is impossible, don't have me rolling dice. If a check should be impossible to fail, don't have me rolling dice. Same logic here. Oh.